So I want to show you real quick how I set this mono rig up, okay? It's real simple, real easy to do, nothing too fancy. Um, all I did was, first segment of this, down to my floating fly line, I have, this is Maxima 12 pound evergreen, uh, just about 20 feet of it or so. I have that, I just have that tied off with a nail knot to my floating fly line. Um, then coming down here, I have a nail knot down to my indicator line, right? This is just chartreuse. Boy, everybody is out today. <laughs> anyway, and you can actually see, you don't have to do this. I like to leave the tag end here just because I feel like that lets me see the ends of the line a little bit, engage the depth and the action a bit better. I have about an 18 inch piece of that. And I have that down to a tippet ring, right? Tippet ring. And I have two Palomar knots tied to that. And off of that, I have about a five, this is about a five foot section of 6X fluorocarbon. Uh, this is Cortland Ultra Premium. You've seen me use this before. And the 6X, it's very strong and very clear. Um, and that comes down to my flies here, right? So, yeah, it's very simple, very easy rig to set up. And the main, the advantage of this is it goes back to kind of what I was talking about in my last steelhead video when I set this kind of a similar thing up. You just have that, you have that one length, you have that one thickness of main line, and then, you know, the thickness of your tippet, which, you know, chances are if you're fishing shallow enough that you're just going to have to deal with the tippet and maybe a little bit of your indicator line. So it's much easier to manage. You don't have to mend nearly as much. You don't have to do anything like that. You just kind of keep it straight, watch the fly, and watch for the strike. So it's a much more natural presentation as well. With this mono rig, it's very simple. All I'm going to do is cast and that's not get it up and get it out there a little further. It does take a little bit of getting used to when you cast, but as you can see, all I'm going to do is I'm going to get it out there and just drift with it. I'm going to watch that indicator mono. That's what it's oh, I just missed one. That's what it that's all it's for, right? And I'm going to use what I like to do is I like to use the, um, as it gets down to the tail out here, I want to use that to load the rod for the next cast. Oh, I'm just going to, occasionally I'm going to use that. I'm just going to watch that. I just want to be, you can see how that indicator mono is kind of, you can see how when, when, that, when those flies are going along the bottom, it's kind of tick, 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 ticking. You can see it's ticking there. And I'm going to watch for that to stop. That's good. Good. And I'm going to watch for that to stop because obviously when it stops, I mean, I either have a fish or I'm stuck on the bottom. But I'm just going to kind of watch that and let it go through. See, tick, tick, tick. And I'm going to use that kind of the tail end of that drift. I'm going to pull it up and I'm going to use that to load the rod and get up here for my next cast, my next drift. And if you're not sure if that stops and you're not sure if you have a bite or not, I'll just lift it and let it keep going. And the other thing I'm going to do in a pool like this is I'm just going to keep working my way through almost as if it's in a grid, okay? I'm gonna, uh, I don't know if that was a fish or not, but it might've been a sucker. Check my weight, my weight, yeah, my split shot slid down a bit. That's okay. I'm gonna keep doing that. And the other thing I'm gonna keep doing is I'm gonna kinda keep progressing through the pool or the riffle. Right, I'm gonna step, drift, step, drift. You can do it upstream, you can do it downstream, you can go upstream and back. Uh, 
and the reason for that is as we go up and down through here you can present you're going to present your flies on each section of your drift the tail end the middle the start of the drift yeah there we go ah, i might have snagged him actually that's okay but yeah that's all we're gonna do we're just gonna step drift step drift and watch that watch that line oh that was a bite no doubt about it that was a take and we're just going to kind of work each part of this methodically and efficiently there we go Okay. little herding on this time that's a little bigger oh yeah Right on, look at that, right on the nose. Boy, couldn't have asked for a more perfect hook placement on that fish. fish. That's a 
a big one actually. Oh yeah. Don't do this at home, everybody. Yeah, I'm just doing this because I can't let him get down. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Look at that. Another one. Jeez. Another one. This guy take. I want on that sucker spawn. Well, that egg. I know that this is not the best way to land these things, but I have I don't have much option here because they're just. I do not want this thing getting into that downstream. yeah i hope this was informative and you enjoyed it very much if you like what you saw remember to like comment and subscribe uh, if you want to follow me on my other social media channels links are down below in the description please take a look or if you need to think it over some more here are a few other videos i think you might enjoy so please take a look at those as well but yeah tight lines god bless thank you for watching and i'll catch you next time